like my, my question what comes to my mind is like is, is this something that no one uh, saw it coming or, or, or how it, how it's possible right one of the largest banks in the in the country like from one day to the other one uh, just like it, it, it doesn't work a, a, anymore like how, is this not something that that people see coming or, or regulators well I think you know I think there's a lot more that's going to come out about this uh, you know I mean I'm, probably there's going to be books and maybe even movies made about it I think um, you know what we're finding out is that you know the bank was um, just at the point where it it was not it did not have the kind of necessarily the oversight that it probably should have for a bank that was had grown as fast as it did um, you know, I mean, somebody might say that's debatable, but I think now in hindsight, it looks like they could have used a bit more oversight. Um, you know, I, I read an article the other day that said even the Bank of England had warned the Fed, uh, the U.S. Fed, that uh, of issues at SVB. And, you know, SVB, uh, you know, was without a chief risk officer for, for a large part of time of the time during this window. And so there's a, there's, there's a lot, I think, that can be sort of attributed to uh, you know, you know what what could have been done better. You know, I, I think there's a lot of people who would say a lot could have been done better in this in this sense. Um, you know, both on the risk management side and then perhaps also on the treasury management side. You know, could they have hedged their bond portfolio or other things like that? So I, I don't know. I think I think that um, you know it's going to be interesting to see how uh, you know how and who goes uh, into this in in depth to try to get the true full story but i'm sure yeah. we'll be hearing about it yeah. in a while